Na na auto care. Na na auto care. Na 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 na. The Lee Chang Dong's peppermint candy. Hey! You're watching Movie Talk. Kanchu. I'm Jason. And I'm Pierce. Welcome to our show today. Jason, what does Kangchu mean? Uh, Gangchu is a two thumbs up, it's a recommendation. So if I say parasite or Ki Seng Chun Wan Jong Gangchu, it means it Parasite is strongly recommended, uh, but we're not going to be talking about Parasite today, are we? No, we're not. Uh, we're talking about something else. Although, uh, honestly, this is a film that's really kind of on the same level, I think. Indeed. Absolutely. Indeed. This is one of my absolute favorite Korean films. Yeah. I'm not just saying that. This is probably in my top five films ever. And the film is Lee Chang Dong's Peppermint, Peppermint Candy. Candy. The film is told in reverse. It begins at the end and finishes at the start. Yongo, uh, played by Sol gyeong he jumps in front of a train uh, and he shouts, I want to go back. Uh, and then the film kind of goes back uh, in time. Right. So it's like just 20 years, it's going backwards through the highlights, shall we say, very bad highlights of the 20 years of modern Korean history. Why watch? Peppermint candy grabbed me immediately from that opening scene, which we'll, which we'll talk a bit more. Uh, but um, it's it became sort of a history lesson for me because it goes through all these moments of Korean cinema in reverse, which is a really interesting way of doing it. Because if you actually don't know anything about Korea, which I knew really nothing at that point, and so I was just completely stunned and fascinated, and it was just a brilliant, incredible journey for me. I was so moved and impacted. And the moment I finished it, I was just I just wanted to know more, and I just went to my computer and Googled uh, things about Korea and started learning about Korean history. And that was, you know, largely responsible for my deeper dive into Korean culture in general. How about you, Jason? How did you come to Peppermint Candy? But yes, but it was where I really began to fell, fall in love with Lee Chang Dong. You know, oh, not just a great absolutely. filmmaker, but in getting these amazing performances out of his, out of his cast, mm. uh, but just, just a terrific writer as well. He is. Key scene number one. Uh, so the, the opening scene, and we see Yongo play, played by Seo Gyeonggu. Uh, he's joining reunion of, of a youth group. He seems quite volatile and drunk, um, quite aggressive. To put it mildly. Yeah, um, and he starts singing on, on the karaoke machine. So clearly he's quite disturbed. Uh, something is not quite right. And then we see him going onto this railway bridge. And there's one particular friend who clearly is quite worried and asks him to come down. Uh, but then, and then we see the train come and approach him, and he says, you know, I want to go back. That is one of the most iconic lines in Korean cinema. That image, you know, that image of him going, it's that incredible, his, his face is so, it's yeah, just his he, eyeballs are popping out and he's just screaming at this train. What an opening scene. And, yeah. and you feel it so strongly, even though, again, going back to my experience watching it for the first time, knowing none of the context and having really no clue where this story is going to go and who this character is. and. You're so drawn in, and it's so he has he has so much pain inside him, and then you want to know what that pain is, where it came from, and as the film proceeds in reverse, that's exactly the journey it takes you on. Key scene number two. Yeah, and now moving on to another key scene. So in Gwangju, this is set in, in May 1980, uh, the Gwangju uprising. He's a soldier or a military conscript, um, and uh, he's in a truck, uh, and we see Sunmin, played by uh, Moon Sori, um, kind of walking along this road be behind the truck. Yeah, so it's, it's just his, in his innocence is drifting off in the distance. It's yeah. uh, it's very it's very powerful. Right, and then just a little bit later, we see we see him in Kwangju and um, him kind of hallucinating um, and um, accidentally shooting a young woman, um, and and that obviously has a, a, a traumatic uh, effect on him. Uh, that he never really recovers from. Trivia. I love the use of like symbols and motifs, um, uh, these recurring images. But now the, train. The big one is the train, absolutely. So uh, Yong Ho dies in the opening scene, we assume, because he's put him, he's thrown himself in front of a train asking to go back. Uh, there is this recurring image where between all the seven segments of the film as they go in reverse, you have this image, a point of view of a train moving in reverse. This, this motif kind of you know, brings us through uh, the, the story. And beyond that, there are, you also hear and see trains constantly throughout the film. 
So these trains are like the symbol which you can never uh, escape. And I think the, the symbolic power of it is that there is, it's, it's a symbol of like progress and things changing, but something that kind of is something unmovable and you can't-, you can't Reaching its destination. Yeah, you, you, you can't change it, it's inexorable. Um, so it's, uh, it's kind of like this foregone conclusion, it's that power of history. Pop quiz. What does Yongho sing in the opening scene? What's the length of the long take in the opening scene? I would say like two, I'd three minutes tops. I'd say three and a half minutes. How much does Young Ho get for his camera? Is it Ima? I think it's more. He asked it's for Oman one. I'm going to say it's Saman one. What does Young Ho's wife learn to do in the movie? Okay, learning to oh, ride a bike and learning to drive. Where does Sunim work? At a peppermint candy factory. Yeah. A masterful backwards journey through Korea's traumatic past. Peppermint candy is the ultimate modern Korean history lesson. Uh. Lee Chang-dong's masterful peppermint candy delves into the traumatic Gwangju uprising. It's an absolute classic. <laughs> it's not as good as yours because. Okay, thanks for watching. Absolutely. We really hope you enjoyed this discussion and we hope we've excited you about the film. And if you do want to watch it, just check in the link in the comments below. Peppermint, Peppermint candy. candy. Get See you next time.